We were just at the show and uh, we heard some, it sounded like fireworks. It was just lots of popping, almost to the point where it was, uh, I thought there was something wrong with the speaker system and then the music stopped. And then more popping and everybody hit the ground. And uh, we, di we didn't know where it was coming from. So we jumped under our, sh under our seats because it was, you know, it felt like it was right on top of us. It was and it was just constant. And then uh, it would stop for a few seconds and then people would start running and stampeding and then start up again and everybody would hit the ground again. And it was just, it felt like it kept going on like for minutes. So it was uh, pretty- It like it was like a lot of people were just in disbelief. Like at first it was, there was fireworks or gunshots. So could you tell at the beginning? Or? Well, I, I, I can't say I've ever heard gunshots before. So I didn't really know what it was. It was, uh, it, it felt like uh, some, you know, some firecrackers that somebody let off just outside, but it, it also felt like it was right on top of us. We were, we were fairly close to the stage off to the side where there was seating. So it was, uh, yeah. And then everybody just kind of started to panic and you got a feeling that it was more than fireworks. And then it just kept going. So what happened? Um, what was your first reaction? What, what happened afterwards? After, uh, we kind of figured out that we had to get out of there as fast as we could. We uh, just kind of stayed low and ran. And uh, my wife and I got split up and uh, she made it across the street to a hotel and uh, a person let her into their room. And then I met up with her shortly after. And then we went into lockdown for the next four or five hours. Yeah, we came down with some friends, and it was uh, the concert was an anchor to the weekend. You know, something to do while we're here, and and you know, vacation away for a few nights. And uh, Sunday night was the last night of it. We were there Friday and Saturday as well. And um, Aaron had mentioned earlier that uh, someone uh, sort of stepped forward and offered to you know let you guys stay in the room for a little while. Yeah, it was great. A, a, a woman from. LA was was at the show as well and she grabbed Aaron and and uh, led her to her room and then I kind of found them shortly after but it was it was pretty chaotic the whole scene so and how close would you say the um, the actual Mandalay Bay which sounds like the situation where the actual person was positioned how close were you guys when you were at the concert it was very it was very close to where you guys were seated yeah so our back was to the Mandalay Bay uh looking at the stage and um I'd say we we're, you know, it's a fairly large boulevard, Las Vegas Boulevard, and uh, we we're probably, I don't know, I'd say 50 feet from the road, and then it's, you know, six lanes over to the Mandalay, and then, you know, up the tower, so it's was, it was fairly close, and we just couldn't tell, we didn't know where it was coming from, It was, but it felt like it was on top of us, and it was constant, so. Well, it's kind of, you know, doomsday-ish and, you know, you start, you know, getting pretty scared about your family and, and that type of thing. So we're pretty rattled still. And the rest of your friends, uh, I guess if you're reconnecting with them, and how, are, how are they? Yep, they, they, uh, they got out as well and uh, they're back in the hotel as well. So uh, everybody was very helpful and kind of directing everything, but it was just... Uh, no, they didn't even know if there's more shooters or and so, uh, you know, people are ushering you into buildings and you have no idea what you're going into either. So. And how would you, uh, describe like, was it the police? I mean, there's a pretty huge crowd, so they're saying like 20, 30,000 people at this concert. There's a bunch of the police presence at the time. It didn't feel like there was at the show, but, um, by the time we got, by the time I got out of the crowd and, and across the street, it was hundreds and hundreds of cars. It was just packed of, uh, of police cars. So, I mean, that gave you, it gave you a little bit of, you know, comfort that there was such a presence, but it's, I've never seen anything like that. So it was, it was pretty frightening.
And how would you describe the, the crowd? It seemed like it was, uh, you know, the end of the concert. It was sort of like the Sunday, the end of the weekend, and everyone seemed to be, you know, people from all over the world, or really, the people that we've been hearing from this morning. Uh, it just sounds like everyone who's kind of a, as you said, a reason to go to Vegas and Acre, the part to go there, it sounds like the crowd is just, from, you know, pretty well looking forward to it. And it was, uh, it was people from all over the world. Is that sort of your take on that, too? Or, oh, absolutely. You know, we met people just in our, our row of seats from Australia and California and Florida. It was a central festival. I mean, it was a three-day event that I think a lot of people, you know, took advantage of. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was nuts. I don't even know what to, to say about it. It was very eerie. It was uh, it was scary, you know, just to even walk. We were scared to kind of go down to the lobby after staying in this woman's room for the better part of the night. We walked down through the lobby, and you know, there's police escorting you through, and it's uh, you know, to see everything just shut down like that when it's always so busy is it was, it was scary. Yeah, we're trying to take it all in and kind of, you know, let our emotions calm down a little bit. We're still pretty rattled, as I said. So uh, we're supposed to fly out at noon uh, Vegas time. So hopefully uh, all the flights are getting out by then so we can get home and see our family.